Good day and welcome. In today's video, we're going to have a look at helping scabbers find out how high he's got to climb to get that acorn. This question is actually quite a popular one and has come up in a number of exams over the past years with just information given, changing slightly, and obviously the numbers changing. But we'll, we'll use this one as a, as a basic guide. Having a look at the problem, we can see that we've been given the distance to the tree, which is 38 meters, and the angle from scabbers to the very top of the tree, which is 44 degrees. Very importantly, we can also see that all these sides are forming a right angled triangle. This then means that we can use the rules of sine, cos, and tan to calculate the missing sides. In order to do this, we first need to set up our triangle and label it correctly so that that we know which is the opposite hypotenuse and adjacent sides. To do this, I always start with the hypotenuse. It's always going to be opposite the right angle, which makes it nice and easy. The second easiest is going to be the opposite side, because that's always going to be opposite the angle that I'm working with, which finally leaves the adjacent side for us to label. Just a quick note, if they happen to switch the side that the angle was on, although the hypotenuse would remain the same, this would now be the side opposite to my angle. So although the side labeled hypotenuse would always be the same, the opposite and adjacent would switch dependent on where the angle was that you were using for your formula. In order to use these formulas, you need to have two of the sides, or a side and an angle, and have the side that you're interested in, or the angle that you're interested in, all in the same formula. So let's have a look. If we have a look at the sine rule, we've got opposite hypotenuse and theta. We've been given 44 degrees, so that's good. We are also interested in the opposite, but unfortunately we don't have the length of the hypotenuse, so we can't use sine. Looking at cos and going through the same process, we've been given the 44 degrees. We've got the alternate side, and once again, we don't have or are not interested in finding out the hypotenuse. If we were, we would use the cos rule. Finally, we have tan. Here we've been given the 44 degrees, we've been given the alternate side, and we're interested in finding out the opposite, which is the height of my tree. With all three ticks, we know that we can proceed with tan. Moving back to my problem, I can see that if I plug in my degrees and I plug in my alternate side, my formula looks like this. Now, in order to calculate the opposite or the height of my tree, I need to get it by itself. To do this, I'm going to multiply both sides by that fit because then the 38 on the right hand side will be cancelled. So I'll just with the opposite. Plugging that into my calculator, I then have my opposite side length, which is 34.38. Another very important note here. This is assuming that Scabbers is really, really short or was lying on his belly when that calculation was done, that 44 degrees. If we did it, say, from Scabbers' eye height, it would shift the whole question up by a certain amount. So the final height of the tree you would just need to remember to add to whatever that height is. And that's a way that they can make the question a little bit more tricky. I hope this helped. If it did, please give it a like, consider subscribing, there'll be lots more coming your way soon.